Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I come to you again from my vehicle, from my car, with another perfume haul. This one's pretty mini. So I recently picked up um, these three fragrances from Jo Malone. So these came in a set at Sephora. Um, I believe they were around $90 for the three. Yeah, I want to say they were like $90. Um, <clears throat> so Sephora does a lot of the different sets with the, with the travel size. I've seen them in pairs as well, like duos. Um, I've seen them in like fours and fives and sixes. So they generally do <clears throat> the travel size sprays in different sizes. Um, I've also seen them be like gifts with purchase but like one obviously not um all three so anyways um i'm gonna tell you about the three first one i'm gonna start with today is this one and this is poppy and barley so usually with these um travel size i mean i am trying to get more travel size just because i feel like i don't need full bo bottles but i just don't really like like I've had some bad experiences with, with travel sizes like breaking in my bag and stuff um, and I just love like a big beautiful bottle and then also at the end of the day in terms of value but I'm never going to get through a full bottle um, the travel size are never like per milliliter dollar amount never worth it but the crazy thing about the um, Jo Malone fragrances I'm sorry I have really terrible allergies I'm just going to preface this video with that so I really apologize for my stuffed up nose and my itchy eyes um but yeah so what's crazy about the joe malone travel size is like these three um they're nine milliliters each so i mean they're not 10 milliliters so it's not like the three of them equal like a not standard size but like a full size small bottle which is 30 milliliters which is their next size up but the pricing is almost the same so it's not even like Okay, yeah, the 100 milliliters definitely, I think, good value if you want to consider Jo Malone good value. But with the travel size, they're pretty much the same. So you might as well get like a variety. So that's why I figured I'd pick up this set. I thought it was actually good value. And if you can get it on sale, uh, such as when I did, then that's even better. So anyways, uh, enough of the rambling. Uh, like I said, this is Poppy and Barley, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray it and tell you a little bit about um, like the notes and things. So this is really nice. This is a fruity, powdery, violet fragrance. And I believe the fruit in here that I'm smelling is fig. So it's funny, cause I don't really get Poppy or Barley, although I'm sure there are notes in this. Um, like this should honestly be called fig and violet or violet and fig because that's really what I get from it this uh funnily enough strangely enough reminds me of rose essential from Bulgari which I own um definitely check out that video where I talk about that fragrance and I don't think this has rose in it <coughs> excuse me I'm so sorry but I think it's the violent the violent the violet and the musk in here that really reminds me of that Bulgari fragrance. So um, if you like that one, I think you, you would like this one. And I like it because I do own Rose Essential and I love it. So that's the first fragrance. The next fragrance I want to talk to you about is this one and that is Wild Bluebell. So Wild Bluebell has kind of become famous as um, the signature fragrance of Meghan Markle. So I was intrigued to try this out. I love when I find out what celebrities um, or well-known people wear uh, as their like signature fragrances, right? I mean, I am probably never going to meet them. So I always wonder what they're going to smell like. And it's so funny because, again, oh my God, I'm so sorry. This is, such, this is turned into such a story time. But I met Justin Trudeau under some unfortunate circumstances quite a few years ago and one thing I'm always going to remember about him is he gave me a hug and I could just remember that he smelled so good and 
I always wonder, you know, <coughs> with people. Oh my God. I just lost my voice there for a second. It was like a frog. Um, <clears throat> I always wonder about people in the public eye and what they smell like. I think that, I don't know if anyone else ever does. If you do, comment down below. I'd love to know if I'm the only stranger one. Anyways, moving on. This is Wild Bluebell. So let's go ahead and spray that. So this is, oh, this is so different. This is a fresh, spicy. Now in this one, I get rose. But I, I know for a fact this does not have rose. That's so funny. Because the first one smelled like rose essential, but with like, there was no rose it's not that part of it that reminded me of it but this one definitely I get like it's fresh and it's spicy but I get rose but I'm pretty sure there's no rose in this but this honestly is like an exact dupe clone better version I believe of Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria um Flora Salvagia if you know which one I'm talking about please definitely comment down below but this is really nice. I really like this as well. I mean, I do really like the Aqua Allegoria line from Guerlain. I love Guerlain in general. Anyway, so that's this fragrance. And then the last one is the very, very popular, probably their most famous, most popular fragrance. And that is Wood Sea... No, let me get this right. It's a tongue twister. Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Okay, so let's move on to that one. And this one, I don't know where I'm going to spray this. Maybe just on my coat. Because I don't have arm space. Oh, this is so nice. This is an aromatic marine salty. You can definitely get the salt. So, sage definitely makes it very aromatic. And, yeah, it, it has the marine and salty kind of vibes because it, it is sea salt. Like, this is definitely like a vacation scent, you know? And this actually really reminds me of Tom Ford's Costa Azura. If you know, I mean, if, if you are familiar with that fragrance, comment down below. Um, I mean, if you really like that, I feel like this is going to be a little bit more affordable. Even though Joe Malone is really up there in price as well, this is definitely more affordable than the Tom Ford version. So if you're looking for those vibes, the Costa Azura, this might be a good option for you as well. So yeah, so pretty much that's my quick little haul and review, mini review of the Joe Malone travel set, which I've seen in all different sizes. You can get them in not sizes, like collections of two, three, four, five, six fragrances. I mean, maybe in the holiday season, they'll even have like more. I really don't know, but um, they usually are priced pretty well, like they're priced at probably $30 a bottle which like if you're gonna spring for the 30 milliliter bottle unless you really like it like this is a good way to discover um the fragrances because I feel like when you get a sample like with me I'm an over sprayer and especially with these you got to make them last so yeah that's my review anyways thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video take care everyone